Fernando Tatis Jr.'s dad. He's completely out of my mind. It was a mistake that could have been handled differently. Destroy the image of a player for such a small thing. Really? Cheating is such a small thing? But then it gets stupider, if that's a word. When you're a bald-headed goof, stupider is okay. For a situation like this, is a catastrophe, not just for Tatis Jr., but for all baseball. There's millions of fans that will stop watching baseball. Shut up. As a good friend of mine says, stop it, stupid. Stop it, stupid. I mean, that's just stupid. Look, the dude hadn't played all year. Don't believe your own hype, please. Just don't believe your own hype. One of the things that you can't do is believe your own crap. Dude hadn't played all year. He's had multiple problems, crashes on a motorcycle. Now he's dumb enough to get banged up uh, for a PED charge. He's an idiot. I'm sorry. I know we're not supposed to say that. I know we're all supposed to be, well, well, you know, he's protected. No, nobody's protected. When you're that stupid uh, and then your dad is dumber than you, I don't know what to tell you, but there aren't millions of people not watching baseball because Tatis Jr. isn't playing. Tatis Jr. is a great player, but he's an idiot. You know, you're worth billions, basically, and you're going to go out and you're going to ride motorcycles and you're going to get into numerous crashes and then you're going to take PEDs. And I know it was ringworm or I know it was a diet or I know it was whatever. I don't even care. I don't even care. One of the things that I was told yesterday by a major leaguer is make no mistake, everybody knows what to put in their body and what not to put in their body. So you compound a son's stupidity with a dad's stupidity. Only the dockages really do that.